and supporting you are one of our hook staff keepers. With us we have TJ, a greater one boy Lino, and Stephanie from Feaster Channel, who can tell you a little bit about this for us. This is one of TJ's favorite investments. Hi guys, we are a local business that's located a few miles down the road in Sanford, Florida. Um, we started in 2008. Our owner, Kevin Dole, um, just wanted to start uh, producing and manufacturing uh, parts for farmers and the animals under their care. One of the products that we have, which is here today, is our comfort brush. It's originally designed for and used by dairy cows. We, a few months ago, partnered with the zoo and made a few modifications to it just to reinforce it and make the diameter on the arm a little bit bigger just to withstand PJ and his uh, movement and action on it. And he's been able to use it and enjoy it for the last couple of months. You can see it rubs up on him. It's motion censored, so as he approaches it, it will start rotating before he gets there. And he interacts and gets a little bit closer usually. I'm told that it usually gets right up on his uh, folds and he likes to have it there and stay. It feels good for him. It cleans him off. It helps exfoliate his skin and really just gives him an enrichment activity to do here in his own habitat. And having something specifically for him to use to be able to play on and rub up on. Yes, so yeah, his favorite places, like she was saying, people just sit and have it in between his head and his shoulder, just go in the town on his neck. Uh, he also likes to talk it in between his ears and his horn and be able to sit there with it. Sometimes when he's feeling really frisky, he'll throw his head underneath the brush, look it up over, and he'll smack right down on his back, and he loves it. He doesn't even react to that big hitting him, and he'll just stand there for a long time. Sometimes he's a little camera shy. If he sees us coming up, he will back away and be like, I'm not doing anything, but he loves it. It's very good for exfoliating his skin, especially his upper back. That's a hard area for him to wallow when he's wallowing. He can't get the mud on his upper back, so sometimes it gets a bit dry and that helps exfoliate his skin. He has a lot of other unlisted things that he likes to play with. Like he has a very big, very heavy ball that he'll push around that he likes. But I think this just might take the cake home. And I think that's his favorite thing to play with. Right now, we're trying to get him into the pool for all of this. We've got the lovely new person from the snow. It's windy. It's bringing a lot of new fish into him and it smells because they have very good hearing, very good smell. You can sometimes see his mouth is a little bit open right now. That's how they can get a scent into their mouth a little bit easier to be able to determine what it is. So, but any time that mouth is open like that and he's not chewing, we kind of, okay, we know what's going on. Just, he's a little camera shy with the brush, but hopefully you'll get some action. You'll see it's uh, rotating and it will just rotate up around over his uh, whole body from his head to his midsection, back by his spine. If the brush really does all the work and you can see now the dirt that's coming off of him because it's up under it so it helps keep him clean. <laughs> He's going to come back for it. You guys have been really good helping us. Any little thing we need, they'll come right out and help us. Do you have any questions? Oh, okay. Well, I can tell you everything I know about this PJ. What? They got asked a question, let's put their answers in the comments. And I'll shout out your name if you get it right. So, what do people think the hair on his ears are for? They have one giant hair, which is their horn, it's made out of keratin, but they also have their hair on their ears. What do we think they have hair on their ears for? Do we have anyone watching or think they know? He also has very good hearing, that's why his ears are so big. For all related to horses, believe it or not, you see horses with their big ears, especially donkeys. Speaking of those neck rolls, they are actually, you know, for a purpose other than fashion. <laughs> These guys, he's a target. It's a very short bottom teeth. They can get up to four inches in length. So those neck poles protect them from these guys, another rhino potentially biting them. The competition for a mate, for it isn't actually mating. It can get pretty uh, violent sometimes. So these big teeth, instead of biting any potential major artery, 
Então, with that next one, it's instead. And if you look at this, he's also showing how his tail goes into that crevice right there. Thank you, PJ. So that tail is protected. So actually, Amanda, we have a super fan with oh. us. Dana Lasour Bates is answering your question that the hairs on their ears are to look good, but it also helps with bugs. Perfect. <laughs> yep. Their skin on their ears is very thin, so bugs, flies can especially bite off chunks of their skin. So to prevent that, he has this hair that will just prevent them from landing on the ears. They'll actually land on the hair. It's a genetic trait like hair color. Some have it, some don't. Some lose it seasonally. PJ, about three years ago, he got it. He grew it out, and so it's been there ever since. The frosted tips are all him. <laughs> he's got style. He does have style. <laughs> and he also, on his rump, he's got lots of bumps that can help potentially keep the mud on him when he's wallowing. And also more surface area for heat expulsion to keep him full. Because so these guys don't have sweat glands. You can see his ears are swiveling around like satellite dishes. So we know he's hearing things. Okay, guys. <laughs> and when they watch the special favorite of banana, uh, little banana. That's probably gonna be one of his favorite treats. He's a healthy boy. He's about 120 pounds a day. And big news, big news, his birthday is coming up in less than a month. He's turning nine years old, so I'm sure we'll show him a very big birthday back. June first. People are about eight to ten, so he's about to get already to be fully mature. He might grow a little bit more, but then the second word is like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so my potential upper lip is like a signal to me. He's like, see, I'm ready. See, so you got to grab these blocks of trees, and the flat bottom that he'll use to uh, eat grass off the ground. He'll mow it up like a lawnmower. Another question to maybe stump our secret thing. Um, so, they wallow in the mud to keep cool and to keep bugs off of them. What's one more reason they might want to get mud all over their body? Hi. Other than just bugs and to keep cool. Yes, yes. <laughs> Right, yeah, Chad, please have him hanging up over here. Hanging out over here. We do have little handheld brushes. We can, you know, we would always brush him every now and then to help with exfoliation. So now he has this brush that he loves. He can do it whenever he wants. Yeah. Hi, Chad, are we over here? Nothing like a horse. He's got three toes and one big, like, fat pad, kind of similar to how elephants' feet are, a big fat pad in the middle. Sometimes we do have to style his nails a little bit. So, our toe and Chris Bones answered the question. Yes, thank you. Sounds great, exactly. Sometimes the top of it's stuck. I said, can't wallow at the mud on top of it. So, that's what the time is. It's a little dry. It's a little red because it can't get it protected with the mud. Randy asked if that you sent me about me. I sent over there to the lab. That would be me. Hi. <laughs> So we also had someone make a donation today during Facebook Live, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for the donation. It really helps us feed these guys and give them all the awesome enrichment and care that we give them every day. That's all. Okay, this horse. You guys, some of you might be thinking of you see a rhino. It's a really big horse. So this species, the greater one horn rhino, they only have the one horn. It can get up to 8 to 12 inches in length. And uh, that's why they only have the one horn. Uh, they have those teeth to compensate for having one small horn. So the African species, the white and the black rhinos, do not have that, uh, those teeth. 
Okay, so I think we are closing up shop today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and asking questions and answering all my questions. So have a great day. Thanks Thanks for, 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 for coming, Stephanie. Have a good day.